All right. Let's check this out here. So, uh, you mentioned splining Morpheus, and I'm not sure. I mean, it's a definite spline here. I'm not sure how much work you put into this section, only because it's, um, you know, the fingers and shoulders move at the same time. Um, just everything kind of moves at the same time. The facial stuff and and the arms everything's kind of the same time there so i think it will be time to offset some things if a little bit um and then you play this here same thing here as you react it feels like everything shoulders the face the mouth the head everything's kind of at the same time then same thing here with both arms kind of start moving at the same time and i'll be careful with intersections on this guy hold on Let's see. And then as he turns, I think you can have. It's not like he has to s swing that chair this way in a, in a crazy way, but it feels like it because you have that arm so close. I think you can you can relax that guy and bring him down. Like there's no need to be so close to the body there. Hey. And then that drop feels pretty big because it's. You look at this shape here, and it all goes goes down at the same time. So you would have to, you know, you have to start breaking up these sections here. So if he's dropping, is that because of the arm swings? If are the arms leading this? So then the shoulders go in first, and then you'll have the chest coming in, but then the head will be delayed. So you got to think about physically. This is the body mechanics. What is going on during this section? Hey, sports! Uh that feels pretty good. My only thing would be there's some moments where, um, again, things move at the same time. You got this guy going over this way, and then the root going to the right at the same time. And I just rolled over my headphone cable with my chair. So just be careful where. As you start splying now, it's, you can start offsetting things. It feels like those arms are kind of together. I mean, this guy moves more, but they still kind of swing and go to the right at the same time. Um, I think you're a bit too... F it's too stretched. I think you can be just a tad bent with that guy. Then as I go forward here, it just feels like moments where it's like you're almost overstretching, and it's kind of—it's almost—it's a bit jittery. Sports. Uh, I heard someone got engaged. Pops there, and there's some pops in the knees there. Got engaged, yeah. you dog. And there's some craziness going on here. I don't know if what's going on. I mean, there's a lot of separate rotation going on that's not really reflected in the body or in the hips. So I'd be, cur I'd be curious to see. Someone got engaged, yeah. you dog. Like his arms are better. That stuff works good. I like how it's offset there. Uh, they just end a bit in a linear way, like this guy goes up here and hits a wall. Goes up, boom, and it just stays there. Same thing with this arm, kind of comes down and then it's locked, does nothing. And then they both go up at the same time through the shoulder movement. And then here they drop at the same time. Boom, so everything is kind of moving at the same time. And again, I would delay this guy, because the... The punch has to come through. So the punch, that initiates the movement back here. So this goes first. So I would have these guys it's more like this. And then with that punch here, you barely go back. There's not that much back. It's more in here. But I would find a way to go and then bend it more this way. And so it'll be like this. So that's it's this middle section that goes back because of the punch contact. Be careful how these arms they kind of start swinging and changing direction over one frame, especially this guy here it goes here, here, and then back over one frame. And then watch out—you got your leg that pops into a bend. Oh God! Uh -oh. Nothing gonna hurt. And I think this could be about 20% slower. Uh -oh. Nothing gonna hurt you now. You're a man in love. Just a bit fast. Can buy that, and I think you can probably bring that head a bit back a bit more. 
not that crazy, but just it's it feels a bit. I know there's a bend, but I think we can bend it even more. It feels almost straight with the head like that. It's a different shape in there. Let's see. Gotta switch to my guy here. Alright. Let's see. Let's continue here. And just this drop. The thing is, you got the spacing is fairly small here. And then you got a massive, and a, and then it, the thing is, it's big here, and then suddenly smaller, and then kind of the same, and then a bit bigger, and then that, and then you got a sudden up, and then now it's just this suddenly accelerates. You're gonna have to ease out of that more, and then the bounce needs to be just a bit slower. Oh, oh. Nothing can hurt you now. You're a man. Feels like he's being pulled down at the end, so he goes up. So you know you go from here to here and then you kinda go down already and then you suddenly go down and down and then that's it. So it's a bit too fast. That's kinda my impression on him. It's definitely looking better. Take this moment you gotta check out your, your offsets, your timing. <laughs> and just make sure that, especially on the drops here, that it doesn't feel like he's being pulled down. And even if you do a leg thing like that for comedic effect and it goes back, uh, you still want to have some sort of hip involvement where the hip rotates, you know, and then even with some little bit of weight shifts. I mean, it's not like there's crazy stuff, it's very stylized, but it just feels so isolated. So you're going to have some Y movement in the hips as this happens. Be careful with his arm being kind of on the same height. And then, bam, suddenly goes up. So that's fairly big there. It's it's as if, you know, the landings and stuff with his arm, it's all good. It's just the poses are right. It's just the timing and the spacing. Feels a bit off. All right, that is for this shot. All right, back to this guy. Um... Couple of things here. The thing that stood out to me was this section where it feels like this section is really moving separately compared to the chest. And it's kind of looking at, I'm sure I mentioned it before, I don't know if it was bef like that before as well, but it feels like it just goes up and like that. Just arc wise, I think it's just really gliding and straddling right over that. I know it could be just a bit more of an arc. And I think even on this lean, again, I like what you have here, but I think as you continue down here, it suddenly feels very isolated in here and here. And I think this could be the last compression where I think part of the chest could go you know, from here to here. Just you want to feel a bit more compression up and just a bit more of that spine reacting to that and then the head that part still feels very isolated I know we talked on oh, the <laughs> about adding things in there Let's see Let's it just feels just a bit minimal I think it's mostly because of that of there's so much head movement Yeah, there's just something about just at the very end because you got that that sharp um, what's called the eye dart, and then with that big move, but then nothing else is going on in here. I know you have a little bit in there, but I think you could either you either lessen the head and the eye, and I think it would help to lessen that eye. I think you might go from here to here max, or even half that. It just feels like a big in move just because of that at the end. And no money and no real future. Let's watch this again. Then, you know, yeah, it just it just accentuates that head move by having such a big eye movement. Again, which can work, but then it feel like then you need to pump up the movements in here and then the chest especially if you want to keep that. So either you you match things that are going on here visually to pump this up or you keep that and then tone this down. If you did teach, you'd be steady income. And then you mentioned I thought 
you mentioned you email something about the chair, so I'm not too sure. And then reality um, hits, and no money and, and no. Pause this quickly. So I was just checking your mail, and you mentioned that I didn't see anything about the chair. I mean, it's this is definitely an area that you're gonna have to put in some chair wiggle. So uh, let me know in an email what your plans are on that. There's definitely more hip movement, which is good. And you got all the the knee stuff, which is great. That definitely helps. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, the, the only last thing, there are two things. One would be the chair, if that's doable. If you did teach, you'd be steady and then the lip sync. Don't be disgusting. Those There's some moments when he relaxes here. That feels a bit too even. It's like it's just some... You're floating into uh, that pose here. Those women were into us. And I think those women, that's a bit chattery right here. It's a really big, um, what's it called? Jaw drop. And it feels like you're going spacing wise. You drop down and you stay put. And then you go back up fairly sharp and then you stop in a sharp way. So it feels like your keys are a lot like that, or your curves. So be careful to just smooth that out a tiny bit. Those women were into us. That feels too chattery. Those women were into us because we were. were into us because we. But then the in into us. I feel like the in could be a bit more not in here, but more in shapes up here, so we can kind of see that. Those women were into us because we were artists, and then artists. We were artists, and then re and it just this is a tiny thing. But when he goes, because we were artists and artist. Just right there, you could have a little bit over two, three frames, a little jaw down, so you can see more separation uh, and see more of the white part of the teeth, just so you can see the artist. Just that part, you want to have a tiny bit. So it's subtle, but so we can feel it. Was because we were artists, and then reality, artists, and then reality. And I think, and then, and then, see how you are, kind of the same width and I feel like and then and then you can expand those guys a bit more so it might mean that you're maybe not as far or you bring this guy out and up a tiny bit just for the and then because we were artists and then real yeah just for and then because it's and then it's you have one jaw movement and then a close it feels a bit simple and then reality and then reality and this feels really late maybe it's my quick time but and then reality i'm on to and then reality hits but you're just this is all closed and then artist and then reality hits it's just late no i think you just have to slip that a couple of frames earlier and then reality hits and no money and no real future and then you know but and i think that you know this feels late Ooh, there's a lot of emphasis on this part. future and then you know but yeah, it's like, you know, it should be just, a, you know, and then relax. Money Not close no the mouth, but just you get into that shape of, you know, and then you're out of it. No money and no real future, and then, you know. But and right now, it feels more like, you know. So you go from, as, as one, I think if you go in, you know, and then relax back to something like this, and that way you have somewhere to go, to go into this shape. So it doesn't all blend into one mushy thing there. No, but yeah, that would be it. Let me know if you do have any questions. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.